fucking toilet just like overflowed it. <laughs> overflowed? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just saying, like, did it get did it get on the ground? Deconstructing the shake weight, I'm gonna build it back as an ultimate weapon of death. Hey guys, Thor Skanky here. Welcome to DIY Advanced Weaponry. Today, we're gonna take household items, combine them with a few other household items, and make instruments of death and maiming. Uh, today, we have a very common uh, workout piece of workout equipment. It's called a shake weight. Um, this was designed to uh, help you with your core strength. So uh, what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to create a uh, double-sided dagger. Um, that's a modern weapon, basically used to take out more than one assailant at a time. So basically if I'm in a situation where I'm being mugged um, by two people coming perpendicular, I will be able to pull out this weapon and dispatch them both just by flicking my wrist in this manner right here. Dated and the uh, super lame. I want to make something new, you know, with modern, modern ingenuity and technology. I think I can make a better weapon. Um, you know, the days of nunchucks and size. That's you know, that's going the way of the dinosaurs. <laughs> you know, now we can have double-sided daggers and katana blades. To take on a new, new form of criminal. So. Um, the first thing you want to do is remember safety is key. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, if we do not take care of ourselves before we start building, we are going to be of no use on the battlefield. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have a pair of uh, safety goggles. Put those on. And it's very important that you keep a clean work environment. Um, sometimes uh, you just give a little... Take these uh, microfiber towels and just give everything a good once over here. Uh, the next thing we want to do is dis deconstruct our weapon. Okay, before we can build it back into a killing weapon, we have to deconstruct its uh, frame. So, first thing we're going to do is pop off the cap. They have uh, these metal caps which are weighted to give you a good pump here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this X-Acto knife and we're just going to get in there and just gently, remember this is sharp, you just want to get inside and, god damn it. And there we go, it's off. And um, so uh, what you want to do is drill a couple of holes through it, okay? Okay, just drill a couple of holes, you know, just sell some nice, nice drill and drill a couple of holes. And then... Get a couple of galvanized steel nails and just gently insert them into the orifices that you have just created. I have a prefabricated one right now that I can show you. Put a little bit of duct tape on the end to uh, to really reinforce its integrity. And there you go, right? And it just pops right back in place, okay? Just like that. Once you hear the snap, you know you're ready.
as you can see, the results are in. Thor's pump action, double-sided, assault, dagger, wins in every scenario. Two attackers, single attacker, um, side-by-side -side attackers. As you can see, the cartage done to the outer skin area is, I mean, basically without the human being, be completely unrecognizable. So, I mean, you can see the carcass is tossed within a 20-yard radius, so 10 out of 10.